the hosts can sense a semi-final place. Having picked up a win, albeit a narrow one in the away leg, they clearly feel that they are in a position to finish the job in front of their own loyal support. Not necessarily so, believe the visitors today. They think that they can still turn this round. After all, the lead is by no means a decisive one, at least not yet. And that is a tone evidently shared by the away supporters who are more than holding their own here. And we're underway. Premion are back home having earned a lead in the away leg. But they are wary that the tie is only halfway through. Much work still to be done en route to the semi-final. Clear. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Has a goal! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Good effort. Very good effort. We would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Lobs it in gently. He's good for it! There's the start of the second half. No score in the first half. He's ready to go for it now. Walk forward. What does he try from here? Is there a... Has a pop! Oh, no... Can't get the better of his opposite number. Diego Tortelli. Has a hit! Oh, anticipation plays such a part in his makeup. Opposition players can never relax around them, and they did switch off, and, and he really punished them for it. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, so great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. Foot. Oh, good interception. Over to the left. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. Diego Tantelli! They did it! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Diego Tardelli really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied and got his effort away. Maintain control. Premio grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Oh, good post for goal! And a second time! That has certainly tested the keeper. Just two more steps to glory. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, tactically, they looked as if they got that spot on. I think when you push up at the back to the extent they did, then there must be a pressure on the ball ahead of things. Otherwise, your whole system is going to break down. And I think there was, there was a good discipline about what they did, really. In a...
Hello to everyone, thank you so much for joining us for part two of our coverage of this tie between two teams aspiring to make the semi-finals. As is so often the case with games at this level, things are right on the edge. The smallest of margins will be telling. The hosts have to win, having failed in their plan at least to contain their opponents during the first meeting. They will though have the backing of the crowd here at the very least. A firing encounter is in store. Flamengo lost in the first leg away from home and that means they have no option but to win Massive leap! Cleared Gets up to head it! Well that wasn't too dissimilar to the Prito gets it out to the wing Guerrero It looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard. It's Gabriel! Getting on for a third of the way through the game. Ball through needs to be good here. Towering header! Gets wrestled off the ball. Guerrero! Gorgeous control there. Ed Nielsen. Guerrero! Oh, it's there! What about that, Jim Beglin? That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. And here's Gabriel. Gabriel, he's away. Goes for goal. Up for the header. And it's D'Alessandro. And helps available out wide. And he's there to cut it out. It's broken loose. Aimed in towards the centre. That intervention was very necessary. It's come loose. Over to the left. Time to deliver. Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. Edda Nielsen. Go. Go. Etta Nielsen. And it's got through. Etta Nielsen. In with a header! And it's been taken short. Shoots! Place. And now they can launch a counter. He's got away. Has a hit! He can pounce on that. It's anyone's ball. Oh, real danger here. And it's played forward. That's it. They are out. Flamengo bow out. Outmaneuvered in both legs and on balance, the inferior side throughout. How would you summarize what we've seen? They can't get lazy in their approach here at all, in their heads. Uh, if they do that, then they could slip up. And already we're underway here. Boca Juniors are back on familiar territory, having secured it. Looks to thread it through. Tries a shot! Going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. He's got options out wide. Beats it first time! And it's Salvio. 
Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And gets up to Hennis! He's getting it all right! And grabbing that open goal so close to half-time too affords them that extra little psychological edge. And once one of your main men gets doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the score. Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty. Teres. Fires it in low. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Two changes being made right now. And the finish! Gone a long way up and away. The whistle is gone and it is all over. Boca Juniors have got it done through to the last four and evidently now believing in it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and... of the competition this one perhaps the most intriguing of the four quarter-final ties it contains all of the right ingredients the scoreline the opponents are perfectly matched the home crowd truly up for it you can hear that you can see that they've created an atmosphere and ambience which is intimidating and sets the hairs on the back of your neck on edge Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Ball forward. What does he try? He's had a goal! He's got a goal! The breakthrough strike! And that really is so, so impressive. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fill that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Hoist it forward. So who's he picking out? Gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Ginola. Perez. He's left his man. He's gone for it! was easy, almost too easy. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. And it's Perez. It's on Perez! Chance to shoot! He's been out try. He's through the middle, has a pop! It's in! With so little time left, grandstand finish! Well, when the game's played like that, it's made to look very simple. You know, I love watching football like this. Easy, effective, one, two, and bang. Thanks very much. Challenge, time to... Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. And on to the semi-final. Another hurdle cleared. Next up, the penultimate step. Your reflections then, Jim. Look, a win's a win. Sometimes it's not as you'd like, but you have to find a way to produce what you need. And I thought they did that.